Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about metabolic bone disease in Chinese water dragons. Um, yeah. So, MBD can be caused by a number of problems. Mostly, it's caused by an improper balance of calcium and phosphorus in their diet, and also inefficient UVB lights. Calci vitamins D3 calcium and phosphorus interact together to perform a number of functions besides bone growth and bone maintenance, including muscle contractions and blood coagulation. So those are all pretty important jobs in the water dry you can just fucking fly from that in here, sorry. Those are pretty important jobs in their system that they need to keep running to have a proper, healthy, functioning system. And UVB lights are very important because it helps them produce vitamin D3 and absorb calcium in their diet. So without the proper UVB lights, they cannot absorb calcium that is in their diet and without the absorption of calcium their systems aren't going to run very well. So, some stupid flies, sorry. <laughs> some signs and symptoms of MBD in its beginning early stages are hard knobs in the bones of the legs, bumps along the vertebrate, vertebrate spine, so right along, down along his spine, and along the back, and along his back and tail. And softening and hard swelling of the jaw. Softening or hard swelling of the jaw. So a good a good suggestion is to take your water dragon out one day or every once in a while, maybe once a month, put them in your hand and just take two fingers and go right down his spine like that. Right down his tail. And just feel for any abnormalities that weren't there before, anything you think shouldn't be there. So you're looking for any hard bumps or any hard, just roundness sticking out to the side, sharpness, anything you think shouldn't be there. Feel his legs and just around his jaw, make sure it's not hard or soft or abnormally looking weird. All of these symptoms can be felt before they're seen. So these are your early stage symptoms pretty much in your reversible stage symptoms. Visible signs, that's when you're in your moderate to severe yeah, moderate to severe stages of MBD. So a jerky gaunt like a uh, jerky walk. So walking and they're not walking as smoothly as they are as like some sort of jerk there. No, jerky. Um tremors and twitches on the legs and toes when at rest. So if they're just resting there on a vine or a branch, their legs are dangling down and just, you know, twitching. Their toes are just randomly twitching. Twitching. Um, and shakiness when being held. Obviously. Shakiness when, you know, what that would feel like. So these are signs that you can see and that's in your moderate to severe stage. Advanced cases include everything I've already said as plus signs of anorexia and fractured bones. Severely affected Chinese water dragons tend to be lethargic and may only be able to get around by dragging themselves around because they're climbers, they're arboreal. They use their back legs a lot, and that's where it seems to be a lot of the damage first begins, and you see a lot of the tremors and fractures to be in the back legs. So they just end up tending to drag themselves to get around, and eventually that's just going to lead to death, and that's a pretty awful way to die, to be honest. So if you notice any of these early signs, 
please do something about it. Bring your water dragon to a vet. They'll go to a pet store, a reptile store. They'll be able to give you suggestions on how to improve your habitat that you have for them already. If you need more UVB light, if you need more calcium in your diet, if you need less phosphorus, if you need an extra supplement of vitamin D3, you never know. You might just need it. Um, it also might help if you're, the calcium powder that you're using, make sure, maybe if it has, I have two, I have one with D3 and one without, I dust with D3 three times a week, sorry, two times a week, and without three times a week, and the other two days a week I dust, I dust with a multivitamin. So you can try that, or you can do your own thing, you can go and get some suggest some suggestions from a vet or someone at a reptile store or a pet store. But make sure you have UVB lights because if you don't your dragon definitely will get MBD. UVB lights are a must. If you can't get them or if you can't get a hold of them, then you really shouldn't be having a water dragon because they need UVB light source to survive. They need their calcium and they need their phosphorus. Well, they don't, phosphorus is in everything that they eat. As long as there's a decent calcium phosphorus ratio in their food and phosphorus isn't overpowering the calcium, then you should be good. There's lots of fruits. Okay, now I'm getting into food. Wow. <laughs> Oh, I'll do another video about that, actually. <laughs> but, yeah. There's lots of different foods and different insects, whole prey, and fruits and vegetables that you can offer your dragons that have great phosphorus to cal cal calcium to phosphorus ratios. And some are even have less phosphorus than, I don't know. But yeah, so I'll do another video on food and what and some phosphorus and calcium ratios and what's good to feed them as well. But MBD is an important is an important debilitating disease amongst Chinese water dragons. If it happens to your water dragon, it's not his fault. It's yours because you're taking shoddy care of him, right? If you want him to survive and be good, you need the proper things to care for him, which would be UVB lights and proper food and su vitamin supplements. So, if you suspect MBD, take your water dragon to a vet. They'll be able to diagnose it for sure. If you don't know a reptile, if you don't have a reptile vet, Call up your local vet. Call find a, your a vet close to you in the Yellow Pages. They don't say they do reptiles. Call them up. They'll be able to give you a number of a vet close to you as well that does do reptiles. There's more than likely a vet around you that takes in reptiles. I know there's three around me that do. So yeah, vets save lives sometimes. Most of the time, a lot. So, if you have any more questions, leave a comment or you can message me. If you have any video suggestions, suggest them. Um, yeah, comment. Let me know what you think.